Okay, my apologies here. Um, I know everything looks like it's already written out. It's because I was recording and about four minutes into my recording. So this is about four minutes worth of work. Um, the program shut down on me and it stopped recording. So I don't have that recording. So I'm going to walk you through what has happened. Um, and then we'll continue with this example and maybe another one if we could fit it in and it's not too long. So the first thing it did was, um, this was an old example that was here, but I wrote one that would be more similar to the ones you'll see in my math lab. And then my first step was to change this into an augmented matrix. So I put the coefficient of X, the coefficient of Y, and then the constant, and then the coefficient of X, the invisible one coefficient of Y, and then the constant, and then I started doing my operations. So the first step was to turn this guy into a one, and we do that by multiplying by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 25 is one over 25, and I cannot change the sign because I want it to be a positive one in the end. And a negative times a negative will give me that positive one. So I multiplied every single person in row one by this negative one over 25. And I did use my calculator for some of them. So eventually I ended up with one, three over 25 and two over 25. And row two did not change. Everything there is exactly the same. The next thing I needed to do was change this 10 into a zero. And how do we do that? We have to add the opposite, which means we have to add negative 10. So you wanna turn this guy into negative 10 so you can add it to that 10 and get the zero. So I did negative 10 times row one plus row two to replace the row two. So again, I use my calculator here. One times negative 10 is negative 10. Um, three over 25 times negative 10 gave me negative six over 25. Two over five times negative 10 gave me negative four. And then I put row two right underneath that. And then I added and I got zero. I used the calculator here, added that. I got negative one fifth and then I got positive one. So that became my row two. Row one stayed exactly the same. Now I've got to change this guy into a one. How do we change things into ones? We multiply by the reciprocals, right? So I multiplied by the reciprocal, which was negative five over one, which is the same as just multiplying by negative five. So I did zero times negative five, got zero. Negative one fifth times negative five is one. And then one times negative five is negative five. And then I got cut off shortly before I started with this one. So now we gotta turn that one into a zero, which means I need to add a negative three over 25. So I need to turn this guy into a negative three over 25. So I'm gonna do negative three over 25 times row two plus row one to change that top row. Now let's see, zero times this fraction is zero. One times this fraction is negative three over 25. And negative five times this fraction would be 15 over 25. But if I reduce that by five, I just get three over five. And then row one is gonna go underneath this. And so if we add these together, we get one, we get zero, and then we get five over five, which is just one. So then the top row becomes one, zero, one. Bottom row stays the same. And now I can change this back into its equation. So one X, no Y's equals one. No Y, no X's, one Y equals negative five. Or if they asked me for the answer in port form, it'd be the X coordinate first, the Y coordinate next. So regardless if they want the answer in equations or in point form, you've got it there. Now that did only take about four and a half minutes to do the whole thing. A little bit quicker than the first time only because I had already had everything written down. Now here we're gonna try to solve another one and this one is interesting because this one is not ready for the augmented matrix. 
Remember in the augmented matrix, it's the x's, the y's, the equal sign, and then the constants. And notice that on the left hand side, you've got these constants there. So you've got to move those before you can continue. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to minus 69 on both sides. So that means this equation will become negative 15x, negative 3y. That'll be gone, and I'll have negative 69 on this side. Here I'm going to have to add 28 to both sides. So this equation becomes positive 6x, positive y, and then now equal to a positive 28. Now I can put it in the matrix. So negative 15, negative 3 equal to negative 69. Positive 6, there's my invisible 1, positive 1, and a positive 28. And then we start doing our operations. So first thing is to turn this guy into a 1 using the reciprocal. So negative 1 over 15 times row 1. You have to use the same sign. So that means this would turn into positive 1. This would turn into 3 over 15, which is the same as 1 over 5. Um, and that's going to turn into positive 69 over 15. And I think those can be reduced by 3. So that will end up with 23 divided by 5. You can use the calculator. It will do it for you. It'll multiply them and reduce them. Now I'm just going to rewrite row 2. And now we've got to turn this guy into a 0 by adding its opposite. So let's turn that into the opposite of 6, which is negative 6. So negative 6 times row 1 plus row 2 to get the new row 2. So that guy times negative 6, this guy times negative 6, and this guy times negative 6. I don't know what that is. It's this ugly number. And then row 2 goes underneath. And then that becomes 0. This becomes negative 1 fifth. I am not sure about that one. Clear. Negative fraction 138 over 5 plus 28. And that's weird. It comes out to 2 fifths. Okay, so now we're replacing row 2. So 0, negative 1 fifths, and 2 fifths. Row 1, I'm just copying over. Okay, now we've got to change this guy into a 1. So we use the opposite, or the reciprocal, not the opposite. We use the reciprocal. So same sign, 5 over 1 times row 2. That's the same as just negative 5 times row 2 to give me my new row 2. So row 1 will stay the same. This 0 times negative 5 is 0. This times negative 5 is positive 1. And this times negative 5 is negative 2. Now we're going to change this to a 0. So we need to use the opposite, which is negative 1 fifth. Not the reciprocal, the opposite. So this guy has to turn into a negative one-fifth, so when I add positive one-fifth, it goes to zero. So negative one-fifth times row two plus row one to replace row one. Zero times negative one-fifth is zero. One times negative one-fifth is negative one-fifth. And negative two times negative one-fifth is actually going to end up being positive two-fifths. And then row one goes underneath. Add them, we get 1. These guys become 0. This becomes 25 over 5, which is just 5. And so we get row 1 as 1, 0, 5. Row 2 did not change, so keep that one the same. And then this becomes x equals 5 and y equals negative 2. Or in point form, it looks like that. So we've taken about 10 minutes. I think we can go ahead and do, um, actually no, I'm going to cut the video here and then we'll talk about these special cases.
in the next video and then we'll hit attack a word problem okay so let me stop the video here and we'll keep going in the next one